Good morning, everybody. It's Marsha from Kansas Misfit, and I want to help people today learning about production of non-food items that you might need later on in life uh, when we can't have electricity or heat from furnaces and things like that. That's uh, when the when. Well, I don't know what it's called, but when all electricity and stuff gets shut down, blackout or whatever. And if you have these things already prepared, then you're set for yourself. And here, let's here's what let's see what it says. It says, in order to to become independent and to stimulate the industry and thrift. Ind individuals and families should develop skills in making and producing non-food essentials. Home production and non-food items might include the following. Quilting, quilt making, uh, material left over from sewing and from outgrown clothing can be used making to make bedding. So if you have even t-shirts or something that's a, got a few holes in it or stains in it and you don't want to wear them you can cut those in squares and make you a quilt um, as clothing production uh, that can and machine sh uh, sewing skills should be learned and practiced knitting and crocheting and weaving are also useful for clothing production a provident homemaker can make over and refurbish used clothing Soap making, that's one thing I started, but I am going to start making, I'm going to make a quilt out of some of my clothing that you, you'll see later on down the road, I hope. Soap making, soap can be made out of fat strained from cooking foods, but lye is also necessary. Lye can be handled and stored with great care. Food, I mean, fuel production. When a source of coal or wood is not available, fuels can be made by the following methods. One, newspaper logs. Develop, new, divide newspapers into sections and fold the sections to the size of half of a page and then soak the, soak and the folded sections in a tub of water to which the tablespoon of detergent can be added. And then, while they are still wet, roll the sections individually into a log one inch in diameter and squeeze out the excess water. Slide the rows off the rod and stand them on end to dry. The rows are ready to use as fuel when completely dry. And you can make candles. Candles. Cut strips of coordinated paper, cor corrugated, cor corrugated uh, uh, paper, C O R R U G A T E D, if you can pronounce that, maybe you can tell me how to pronounce it. Paper in one and a half inch widths. Row each strip tightly and fit it in the tuna fish can. Uh, so save your tuna fish cans, or your chicken can, little cans, you know, cat food cans and things. Roll it up and fit it into your can. And pour melted paraffin wax in the can so that it soaks the paper and fills the remaining space. And with each can can burn for one and a half to two hours. Make yourself some candles. Briquettes. Punch a hole, punch a few holes in an empty can. Place it in place in the can such flammable items as pieces of twigs, limbs, and branches from fruit, nut, and other hardwood trees, and black walnut peach or apricot pits. 
and secure lid on the can and heat the can in, in a hot fire until the flames from the can turn yellow red. Remove the can from the fire and allow it to cool and store the briquettes in the moisture proof container until they're needed for fuel. And four, fire starters can be made by filling paper, not plastic, but the paper egg cartons with melted paraffin wax. Tear the cartons into cubes and build twigs or briquettes around the cube before lighting the paper cover. The paper and the carton burns rapidly, melting and, and igniting the wax which starts the fire. That's something easy people can make. Start saving your egg cartons. Not the plastic ones, but the cardboard ones. Now furniture making. Learning to make simple furniture or refinish old furniture can result in finan financial savings and can be rewarding. Anybody learning anything from this? Tomorrow, I will probably be talking to you about home storage. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you learned something from it, and I hope you try these. If you make candles or something, maybe you can make a video of it and share it with me. I will let you guys know how that turns out when I do it. And I will see you tomorrow for another video. Have a wonderful day. Ta-ta.